Hello and welcome to Kate and Kat's podcast. We run our podcast a little differently than most. Our podcasts are completely spirit-led and we never know who we're going to have on or what's going to come up to heal. Every episode is a new adventure where we walk people through healing anything from spirit guides to past lives to inner child work, how the energies and trauma affects the mechanical workings of our physical bodies and exploring time, space, and dimensions and how it's all happening now. This podcast is for beginners and experts alike. This can be considered explicit content to some, as we do not edit ourselves. And sometimes deep trauma work comes up unexpectedly. And also we cuss like sailors. On this episode of Kate and Cat Live, we did another round of bringing people up on screen to help with their current situations. We really do love this type of healing and help. So much can be done in such a small amount of time. If any of these situations feel like they could apply to you as well, feel free to apply the healings as needed. Without further ado, if you love a bad bitches and that's your fucking problem, on with the podcast. Hi, guys. Oh, we have a request. Oh, Mystic. Yay. Hi. Hey, babes. Hello. What's going on? What do you want help with? Um, oh, there I go. Sorry. <laughs> um, I would like to get help with, um, I think it's like a hormonal thing that's going on. Okay. You start talking, we'll tune into it and we'll interrupt you. Okay. Okay. Um, I've been having like a lot of different uh, symptoms I haven't experienced before. Like, um, it's um, it's very emotional on the right side. You don't want to talk about it. Um, there's someone who keeps like either trying to touch you or talk to you or try to see if you're okay, and you don't you don't want to address it. You don't want to talk to them. And it's a uh, it's made itself in in the way of you know those little like cartoon bacterias. Mm hmm. That's what it looks like on your thyroid. Oh. Is it on the right side? Because it feels like whatever. Th I thought it was a person, but you're feeling okay. an actual thing. Oh, no. Like, that's what it looks like. Oh, okay. Like, oh, no. I like going along with what you were saying. Was like, that's the way it looks. Oh, are they like infectious? Like, uh, yeah, it's like it makes me cringe. Hmm. Okay, keep talking. Um, I know emotional wise, um, it's been a roller coaster, um, specifically since I lost my mother, and just like a lot of like feelings of feeling when lost. Did, when did you lose your mom? Um, twenty twenty one. Oh, it was kind of sudden. I feel like I knew that, but I couldn't remember the date. Yeah. It was kind of sudden. It was from COVID. So whenever you lost her, did someone come into your life? Uh, I was talking to a guy at the it's, time. This is a guy. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but the, the way that it's presenting as a disease and then also that you lost her during COVID and it looks like the little cartoon germy things, oh. all of it's like, huh? Hey, can you merge in with the version of you, um, what, before the, before she lost her mom or before she started oh. talking to that guy? Yeah, it would, I guess it would be before she lost her mom because it would manifest in that same way. Okay. When she starts talking to the guy. Okay. Say spirit if it's in my highest good. Spirit if it's in my highest good. Please merge me with the version of me. Please merge me with the version of me. Before my mom passed away. Before my mom passed away. Like right before. Right before she passed away. Going in. That thing is going away. I feel it. That's so I weird. I didn't like my thyroid. This is, they're, they're just starting. Were you talking to this guy before she died? Yeah, like oh. right before. Was it right before? It was like a year 
the year before she died and I stopped talking to him actually the day of her funeral. Interesting. Um, he can, he can have all this back. He can have it back. You can have it back. It's lifting. Holy shit. Like, can you say speed this up? Speed this up. Um, and can you just be like, like energetically be like, and I, I never asked for any of this. Never asked for any of this. You, you can have that bag too. Yes. Yes. Take the bags. Yes. Mm, what bags are you handing over? Did he just like dump on you all the time? Is that what this is? Just like. Yeah. It's like, that's nice that your mom died. But anyway, I have this stubbed toe and it's really like, that's what it seems like. Just real shitty. It's very me, 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 me. He always had issues. So he would always come around or like talk to me like with his issues. Well, uh, if you want, you can safety wire that down and um, <coughs> he can keep all that shit. I felt like a pressure like in my throat and my chest area like yeah and also the um back of the right which is it's like in the chest but I felt it in the back like on the right side of the chest yeah that feels more mobile um can you go ahead and copy and paste all the healings and workings you've done for current you to that version of you please conducive please copy all the healings and workings Speed that up. I think it puts in a cue, Jojo. Yeah. Sorry, I see everyone's um, comment late. Can you um can you exchange information with that version of you? So like the you that you are now, can you give them that information and then the you that you were then can you give because this is before your mom dies can you give like can you give all that information to those versions of you like share it with each other and there's no harm in warning that version of you what's about to happen yeah especially at that time um you want to make sure you see your mom like all the stuff And like warn her about, or like warn you about what's about to happen and all that stuff. There's a lot moving. Can you allow yourself to see this guy for what he is? That way, um, I don't know, what does heart eyes get in the way, if that makes any sense? Like a mirage? Mm -hmm. Oh, that um, wiped off real quick. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, absolutely. I was, yeah. I was about to give a phrase and I was like, uh, <laughs> hell yeah. There's a lot lifting off of that too. Can you do that for everybody in your life? Like, yes, it's okay to have hard eyes, right? Like, it's nice to see the, the, that kind of stuff. It's fun. It's romantic. It's fun. But can you see the person before the potential of who they could possibly be if they healed? There you go. Also, you guys in the comments, if you hear anything that we're saying and it applies to you and you could utilize it, go go for it. I feel a lot lighter. Yeah, you do feel a lot lighter. And I think I always do that like for people. I always try to see like how I can like fix them or like make them better. Mm -hmm. So or even I I think they're like they're they like me or care for me or show up for me way more than they do. Like I, I've always done that. I, I mean, I used to always do that. Yeah, I don't want that anymore. Okay. You said, I don't want that anymore and more left. Okay. And then the original thing that you were looking at that guided us to this was what again? Uh, uh, hormonal yeah. kind of issues that I started having. Okay. Push all this forward and ripple it outwards, please. 
You just say that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, baby. Do the closing statements or the close up signups either on Kate's page or my page, and then keep us updated. Just let us know how it goes. Okay, thank you. Absolutely. Good to stay. Bye. 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 You have to hit the X or the off button or something. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't see that. Oh, there. <laughs> okay, bringing the next person on. You guys can um, request to go into the, like, bring you up on the screen. You don't have to show your face. You can if you want to. Hey, Jojo. Hey, baby. Hello. Hold on. <laughs> Put on my thing. There we go. What's up? What's going on with you? Go ahead and start talking and we'll interrupt you with the things. Okay, perfect. Um, so since we had last talked. Oh, oh so cute. So cute. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, so since we had kind of last talked when I was doing like mentorship stuff and whatnot, um, I was in that relationship. Since then, we have broken up. Um, oh. That was like recent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a lot I mean, of, a lot of there was a was lot, a like, lot of healing done with all that. So, yep. Uh -huh. There was. Uh huh. There was. So, and it's just kind of like very fresh. So, I just kind of wanted to see like what healing needs to be done with me of like residual stuff or like time. It's residual like, for sure. I feel like I want to burp. Mm -hmm. What'd you get, Kate? Oh, just peel them off of your face. Mm. Mm. <laughs> 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 Sound effects. <laughs> oh, so when when oh. she's peeling when she's peeling them off of the face, is it like um okay, it reminds me of this. It reminds me of when Harley Quinn was going out and not telling anybody that her and the Joker broke up. Mm -hmm. Can like when people see her, do they still see him? Oh, I was gonna say like he merged with her or some shit, yeah. Like, to where they're like, it's like this instead of her on her own. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you ever see, um, fuck, Birds of Prey? Uh-uh. Okay. Yeah, she, like, she, her and Joker broke up, but yeah. she didn't want to tell anybody because a lot of people hated her. And, like, mm -hmm. didn't, she didn't have the, like, protection of his name and stuff. But it looks like you didn't grab onto him. It looks like he kind of, like licked you like mine mm -hmm. yeah i could see that 100 mm percent. -hmm. okay that was fast do you want to look at anything else real fast <laughs> um that was pretty much all i had yeah <laughs> oh cool um yeah. ripple that everywhere okay. <laughs> copy and paste it everywhere mm -hmm. push it forward mm -hmm. and then go do closings Okay. I really wish you'd slap them, but you know, oh, okay, it's just uh, that okay. might just be me. You did it, yeah. <laughs> okay, how dare you take advantage of them? You're right. I will slap you. Too mm -hmm. late. Sure I did. Too late. <laughs> I love you. Thanks for joining. I love you. Thank you. I love you bye. 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 <laughs> how do I do it? How do I get out? I of don't here? know. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Oh, there we go. We barely know how to go live. I don't know. <laughs> We have some of the requests. Oh, okay. I of Simon. Simone. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know, I had a cat named Simon, and um, I was really little at the time. And my uh, and the vet told us that it was a boy, so we named it Simon. Found out it was a girl, and the name was Simone, but it never went by that. It went by Simon. Just thought I'd share. Okay. Hey, how can we help you? Hey, um... Okay. <clears throat> so, oh man. So, okay, the term I am my worst enemy. I feel like my subconscious is just, I don't know, it's not incriminating thoughts, but I feel like there's something there or maybe like does it create fake scenarios and place you in them as the bad person? Um, it's over to the left. It's like, it's not, it's not right here. It's over to the left and it is like a viewing room. It's like a, it's like a theater. Right. Yeah. And yeah, like I'm Kate like, said, it's like they put, it's like putting you in there it's like in, you're in the scenarios movie. that aren't true. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Like I play movie. scenarios. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 100%. Um, 
I, I am a baby psychic, a baby medium. <laughs> I've had my own. Oh, I just just quick note. You can call yourself whatever you want. I don't really like the term baby just because I feel like we're all remembering how to do the stuff that's naturally ours. So right. One hundred percent. Thank you. (laughs) Okay. Um, but I also feel. I don't know. Oh, that's bringing you back to center. Okay, keep talking. Um, I'm just feeling like there's someone else like in me with me and my subconscious like i know we're all trying to heal ourselves but i really feel i don't know i guess i really want a breakthrough with this but i guess it's gonna take more time why why does it why is it gonna take more time i don't mm. Start talking and we will interrupt. Uh, I'm not too sure why it's going to take more time. Is this like you're trying to achieve? What are you trying to achieve? Like, what do you think the ultimate achieve is when you say breakthrough? Uh, For some reason, I want to say I want to keep learning. (laughs) Oh, but oh, my gosh. No, that's going to be so annoying. (laughs) Wait, keeping learning? Yeah, just to. Oh, that sounds a little exciting to me. Isn't it? Yeah. It's like a weird... Sometimes it's heavy, though. Oh man. Oh, like a realization. Um, a heavy going through the learning. Oh, okay. So, yeah. um, release soul fragments with everything you've learned today. So, spirit of my high kid. Please release soul fragments with everything that I've learned just today. That's a lot. Yeah, my left ear was ringing too. It just seems like um, (sighs) there's something that's like the ultimate learning, but like every day is the ultimate learning. I don't know. It's like a, um, what, an impossible standard there? Oh, man. (laughs) Does that sound right? Can you you release soul contracts with... um, um, there being an end game that are no longer in your highest good. Uh, to release what again? Soul contracts with there being an end game or an ending that are no longer in your highest good. Okay. It's going like really slow. Right. Uh, can you say like, um, hey, I see you because I don't know. Are Do you feel like you're in hiding like uh, uh, not hiding, but like you hide yourself? What the hell is this? You're like cloaked, oh. peeking behind a corner. And I want to be like, and you too. And you too. You do it, too. And it's like a version of you. A can version you? of me? I'm trying to see if we if if they need to merge with all forms and versions of them or the council like i feel like it's a council of them the council of them situation Mm -hmm. okay so uh simon like a council everybody has like a a council of thems and it's like it's it's like a a board of your directors but it's you and it's like a bunch of yous on a table it's not your it's not your like ancestor it's not your spirit guides even though it's all kind of like intertwined together this is just like a bunch of yous And, uh, like, what will happen is somebody will be like, I, um, I have a dog. And then, like, you, it, it gets sent to the Council of Yous, and you're like, yes, that, that is possible. They, uh, they have a dog. It's like they all discuss the thing. And then there's one of you that goes, that's a fucking lie. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, that's my brain. <laughs> okay. Oh, gosh, yeah. Yeah. It, oh, we both started. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I was going to say, like, kick everyone off of it and upgrade it. That isn't you. That doesn't belong or is, like, an old version of you or doesn't. Like, yeah. So, Spirit, if it's in my highest good, please Spirit. kick everyone. You don't have to say it out loud if you don't want to. Please okay. kick everyone off of any council of mine that's me 
or my spirit team or any of that that is not my highest good and doesn't need to be there any longer. Oh, okay. Okay, if I were to say they look like pillars, would that make sense to you? Um, like pillars that talk. Yeah. No, but the <laughs> height maybe. I always feel like someone really tall would be observing me. Oh, okay. And some yeah. Sometimes I would <laughs> I leave the door cracked because it's like in my bedroom <clears throat> and I just see someone peek through. I always thought maybe that's the house. But I don't know anymore. I'm kind of like second guessing. Can you merge with the version of you that keeps peeking at you? It's you. <laughs> Because it is, oh my gosh. It's like, it's like a, hey, just making sure you're doing okay there, buddy. Okay. Hey, uh, oh God, are you still so doing sweet. okay? It's, so <laughs> it's creepy. I had a version of me, like, walk into the room when I had my sight on, and I, like, I don't, I'm a feeler. I don't have any sight right now. I, I have to phrase that a weird way. Anyway, mm -hmm. it walked in my room and, like, walked around my door, and I was freaking the fuck out. I hated it. It was, like, tall and, like, creepy, and I was like, ah, but it was me. <laughs> Hey, me, uh, how's it going? And they were like, they were being real gentle. They were just like slowly sitting in the bed. I'm like, if you're me, go away. <laughs> like, like, but that was before I figured out how to like merge with the stuff. Interesting. Yeah, because last night. <laughs> if you're me, go away. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is not nice. <laughs> yeah, last night I feel like someone wants to like grab my feet and pull me off the bed. But I think that's just more of yeah there's an energy oh. there pay attention to me have you ever cleaned off your bed like energetically i i do it every day just to let you know no i like i don't feel like they were being malicious because i just went and asked i was like what the fuck is that all about and they're like they're bed okay <laughs> and i was like oh okay. <laughs> yeah, i gotta do some laundry <laughs> <laughs> just, no, I think that there's uh, you do a lot of work in your sleep. A lot of people do. It reminds me of a Hispanic mother yeah. version mm -hmm. that would be like, get up. I don't care. It's yes. Saturday. I need to wash your bed. It's dirty. It's Saturday. Like, go. It's dirty. And then the music's already going. <laughs> yes, totally. Oh. So just like however you clean out stuff energetically. I mean, you don't have like, to wash your seat sheets, but you can. I mean. I mean, I'll never tell you no for that. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's it's like energy stuff. It's it's yeah. You do a lot of work in your sleep. Yeah. Mm hmm. And it, it just there's just a lot of stuff stuck. Residual. Yeah. Just build up. Mm hmm. Dang. OK. It looks like you're it looks like you're cleaning it out. I mean, like it feels like you're cleaning it out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I opened a little portal. Mm hmm. Some people You're like are pulling it out. Away. Yeah. You're like pulling it out like almost like a vacuum seal, but like in reverse. But it's like it's like cleaning out all the stuff. <clears throat> where are you putting it where when you pull it out? I feel like you should eat it. Um oh Kate uh, always wants you to eat it. But yeah, really? if she's seen it, she means it. <laughs> um I usually just uh see like the galaxy, the universe, or just uh creator. It's kind of specific. Uh, why don't you send it to its um you can either like eat it why don't you send it to its rightful owners there you go and that way like if it's supposed to go to the universe or the galaxy or whatever it will like if you were doing dream realm work and you were pulling pieces of galaxy and it got stuck in your bed that's where it will go mm. but if you're like working with someone and you're helping them with trauma like um my partner ben He'll clean me off, and it's supposed to go to me, but sometimes he, he'll just like pot, stockpile it, and so it's like he's one of those millennials that like it's like oh a screw that might come in handy later. Like so when he takes off energy, it's not that he's taking it on purpose, but that's what it seems like is happening. Is like you're getting stuff on you, like pieces of energy fuzz. Mm. Okay, that might explain some some more crabbiness, even though. I'm a yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It absolutely will explain the crabbiness. Kate's seeing something. No, it's just how you're pulling a lot of things off, like all these realizations and understandings and stuff. You're just pulling a lot of stuff off. It's still going. It's not. You're not just doing it to your bed. Now you're doing it to like you 
your room. Yeah. Yeah. You can do it to your you can do it to your dream realms and your nightmare realms too. In your astral pathways, all of it. There you go. <clears throat> clean up. Okay. <laughs> We do it every day, though. Like, I don't want you to think that this is not, like, good mm -hmm. energy hygiene, because that's not what this is at all. This is just mm -hmm. literally, like, um, if, a, if, if you fall down in the dirt, you get dirt on your hands, and you have to wash it. Like, it's not a big deal. Yeah, I feel like it's more of um, going back to the basics, because I should be doing this somewhat often, uh, especially when I feel uh, the energy is <laughs> more heavy. Thank you. It looks like, Thank I mean, for the most part, you don't, you have shieldings up. It looks like there's not a lot that penetrates through. It's just when you're, when you're doing dream realm work, you get, you get stuff on you. And that version of you is like, get up. <laughs> yeah. Get up from your bed, bestie. It's time. Yeah, it's time to run out the doors. <clears throat> okay, so I want to address the thing that you first talked about when you came on here, which was that, that little viewing room. When we started to talk more about it, it, like, dispersed. It, like, closed, and then you went back into yourself. Um, just making sure. Are you... And that, that own worst enemy stuff is the counsel of you. Like, if you have... So if you think about... um. Like even not the council of you, the spirit, the spirit guides, your your people, you have the ones that naturally come with you that are naturally yours. And then we have people that we that Kate and I have found we appoint to our team. And that's like asking your third grade teacher for advice in third grade. And then when you're 27, they're still there and you're asking them advice. And it's like, that's all well and good. But they're not going to they're not going to have the best interest for you at this time because they don't know you like that mm -hmm. so you can kick off people from your spirit team that aren't supposed to be there or like you might have an ex-partner or like a sibling <laughs> that used to give advice but now they're really judgy you know mm -hmm. you can like adjust it to where anybody that you appointed isn't there anymore mm -hmm. and just the ones that are supposed to be there for what you're going through hey oh. that viewing room what did you create that for? Just out of curiosity. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> I feel like that's how I'm also like able to do like spell work and psychic type stuff. Like it's just a. It reminds me of um, kind of a thing. Yeah, it reminds me of the mirror dimension in um, Doctor Strange. I totally relate with Doctor Strange. <laughs> yeah, it's like a pra it's like a practice dimension, right? Oh, I, I didn't think of it like that. Oh, or is it like a safe, a holding, a safe holding kind of dimension? Like it's for safety precautions. Yeah. What are you seeing with it, Kate? Oh, uh, that every time you use it, it needs to be like cleaned out and closed down. Oh, it's like overlapping. Yeah, like, uh, man, I really went into it. I like did not hear a damn thing y'all said. I was like, <laughs> I was like, damn. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's because all your your spell work is in there. Did you say you did spell work? Mm hmm Okay. Because it's there. And I was like, that'd be real awkward if they didn't say spell work and there's spell work in here. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, all your work is in here when you do that. Uh, I just, I, I guess it just needs to be like finished off or like um, close the book on it. Because this viewing room can still be there if you want it. Or you can collapse it completely. But the parts of it that you have building up, like you have some of it there to keep building up and adding to, that needs to be like addressed that that's what, like it doesn't need to be closed. Does that make sense? Okay. Like just the stuff that needs to be closed. Just or to like direct Kate's. the energy kind of a thing? The, the old workings that are in here, not the buildable ones, but like the one time mm. ones. That are done. Yeah. Oh, like collapse all the done workings. You can there you do go. That. It's going. Oh, that's a lot off your chest, too. Holy shit. I would definitely oh. speed that up. It just seems like it was coming through as a bunch of like <sighs> fake scenarios. And it's like, where are these coming from? <laughs> like the bottles in the big friendly giant, like all the little dreams that he collects. Mm -hmm. 
the giant collects. It's like old spell workings, but it's like old old stuff, and then it overlapped in scenarios. Mm. Oh wow, man, that that's heavy. Oh, that's yeah, that's interesting. Um, uh, can you like transmute all that in the way that you normally do, like that you naturally do? It's already going. God. Do you do work and not know you're doing it until after? Or are you very like consciously working on it? Um, it's like you even think about it and it just starts going. Yeah, sometimes I zone out and it's a scenario. I think it's a scenario. But then I feel like, oh, there's too much energy behind that. So I just sometimes just cut it off because I just. I think it's just a thought. So I never really thought <laughs> we moving more or directing the energy. Yeah, it's very interesting. Mm -hmm. It's cool as fuck, though. It's like you created this whole space for workings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very comfortable. Oh, cool. can you upgrade it? Just Ooh. uh, just say spirits my good, please uh, upgrade this room. Or however you say it. Okay. I I don't think stuff was supposed to stick to the walls, and it was. So now it's not anymore. Oh. Very cool. Very nice. <laughs> I do feel more clear. Yeah. Huh. So we're gonna ask you to either go to the close up slash sign offs on Kate's page or the closing statements on mine. We both have them pinned, and then uh, give us an update, like in the comments sometime. Yes, for sure. Thank you so much, you guys. I really yeah, thanks. You know. nice thanks for joining you, us. Simon. Yeah. Bye. 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 Okay, mm -hmm. we do have another request. Mm -hmm. do, 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 on the magic. Sea Town Sound. Fire Pie. Hey, Jesse. Jessa. Hello. What up, babe? Yellow. Um. So I'm I'm getting bariatric surgery on the thirtieth. Okay, there's that. But then I'm in here because I can't breathe. Like, I feel like I'm drowning at night. And, I, and I've got a doctor's appointment tomorrow, but it's been happening. You know, I feel like I'm drowning for like the past month. Now I feel like I'm about to cry for no reason. <laughs> oh, I think I merged into you because I, I started to like go in. Sorry. Was that your, you? ear, <laughs> your ears sound like they're underwater. It's like, yeah. Uh, kind of feel like I'm underwater. Like, I'm not sick in the head. Like, I'm not sick and I'm not, like, congested in my face. It's just my lungs. I feel like I can't breathe. Are you buried by your emotions? Quite possibly. <laughs> okay, clear your emotions out of your lungs and see what happens. Just say, Spirit, please clear my emotions out of my lungs. Spirit, please clear my emotions out of my lungs. <sighs> Damn. <sighs> All right, <laughs> that's something. Ow. Please, please speed this up. And please speed this up. Um, clear my emotions around the sack around my heart. Uh, for sure, please. Yeah, okay. See, I knew it. <laughs> please clear the um. Can you say it again? I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, please the clear. emotions. Yep. Okay. Can you please clear the emotions around off this this around the sack of my heart. Around the sack of my heart. There we go. <coughs> oh, that's pulling stuff from the throat and the ears, too. <laughs> that's so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> <Get up. laughs> I'm sorry. Around, around all of my internal organs. So I say, I'm sorry, one more time. I'll hear it. Oh, uh, clear the emotions out of the around my internal organs all of my clear. internal organs please clear all the emotions out of my internal organs around me lightheaded and dizzy <sighs> around my internal organs around my internal organs <sighs> i think i already feel like i can actually breathe a little bit Dang. <laughs> um, if I were to say that they had nowhere else to go, would that make sense? Yeah. Why do you swallow your emotions? Couldn't tell you. Okay. 
I'm I'm alone like 23 and a half hours a day every day except for I've got like my animals I've got a bird and I feel like I'm totally neglecting him lately remove the guilt and shame first of all spirit please remove the, the guilt and shame from this okay and 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 then I got this bariatric surgery coming up on the 30th and I feel like I'm going to go through it. It's going to work. I'm going to lose all this weight, but I feel like I'm still going to be in the same shitty mindset. Are you, are you mourning? Uh, this came up the other day with you, Kate. So I'm wondering, are you mourning the old you, your old life? Are you mourning it? Like before it turns into the new you, quote unquote, are you mourning I don't the, know. <laughs> the you that you are now or the old you? I have no idea. <laughs> Sorry, did you hear my birdies flipping out? Yeah. <laughs> um also too, the the stuffing emotions down has to be healed before you go through with this because it'll just happen again. It'll, it's only temporary. Right. Like you'll if you just keep healing the like okay we can um like if you had a sewage tank and you just kept cleaning it out and stop like and you didn't fix the issue of why it keeps getting clogged you would right. just spend money and time on a plumber over and over again right so can you ask what's the root issue of this that I need to heal the spirit what's the root issue of this that I need to heal going in. Uh, it just looks like a oil drill. <laughs> what? Uh, the oil drillers. I would say an auger. Like the ones that are like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm hearing the uh, the beginning song of Frozen when they're like breaking the ice. Mm. They're like dun 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 da 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 dun dun da. <laughs> which means that it was like put mm-hmm. underground never to be seen or heard from again type shit no clue okay, okay. And stuff kate's like moving the ground and it's like surfacing um can you infuse it with mek spirit please infuse us to mek for you listening, guys, that's a methyl ethyl ketone. It's something they use um, in aircraft mechanics, and Kate is in that field. And it's like Gugon th- times 3000, but we found out we can use it in spiritual work or energy work. Um, so all this is going to do is not make it tarry and heavy anymore. You still have to address it. So okay. It still has to be addressed. And since this is happening this oil pump thing is happening it's gonna come at a pace that is okay for you to heal because if it were all at once it would melt your brain it would right. melt anyone's brain okay uh, so it's gonna come to you at a pace that's it's gonna work but the thing um, is you have to address it you still okay. have to address it okay so this this version of you is a it's a male worker in ice like situation like probably alaska because of the oil and the ice Mm -hmm. um and i i don't think that they were forced to be alone i think they pushed everyone away right yeah that's kind of what i did in my life i mean okay merge with this version of you sarah please merge me with this version of me (laughs) in uh exchange jesse information and exchange jesse information oh now you're like looking around there's like actually like people and stuff trying to talk to you (laughs) dude like jesse ask ask that version of you what do the people want what do the people want they just they want what you want they want someone to talk to yeah like Go out to eat, go yeah. whatever. And it's not yeah. fake. It's literally like, can we get to know you, please? And you're like, no. <laughs> no. 
I want to. It's weird. You're acting like you have. It's you're acting like you have headphones on, but this is not a time period where there's like earbuds or headphones. (laughs) Like you have like a thing covering your ears, like you can't hear. You're like, what's that? (laughs) I don't know. My earbuds. My ears are too cold. Right. (laughs) I can't take them off. That they would freeze. And they like, don't have ear they they don't have earmuffs on, so they're just like <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say. But okay. So let's go back to before that happens. Yeah, to early like earlier you. Merge with that version of you again. Spirit, please merge me with this version of me. Okay. You're looking around, and this is like when y'all first came to this work project or whatever and they're like hey we're gonna go (laughs) and you can either you know keep reinforcing that same pattern or you can be like you know what i i'll try i can try i can try right whichever you want to do can try i can i just have to do it because you know what's great about trying is that uh you can always leave right that's what's awesome (laughs) and if it's just not for you then that experience is the experience and it's great because then you're like oh i've done that before and it seems like thank you it seems like people are more understanding whenever you do it and you're like man this is just not for me they're like that's cool that's okay man they seem to like take it less personally oh good look at this shit oh good that's moving some stuff Ow, ah, dang, this hurts the back of my head. It hurts my back. Yeah. Wow. Oh, download your knowledge of people into this version of you. Spirit, please download my knowledge of people into this version of me. Ow. It wow. turns out crazy i know but you actually like going out with them i know <laughs> what <Yeah. laughs> yes um, have you ever seen wow. jesse have you ever seen the breakfast club yeah okay you know the chick that does the like takes the salami and like throws it on a statue and does the pixie sticks and uh-huh. the things in the sandwich it's very it's very that like very alone but i mean like a big burly guy though but like very alone <laughs> very like emo and like half the shelved here and like goes out and they're like hey let's call you tom i don't know like hey tom and you're like i don't know man <laughs> <laughs> and like you end up being friends with them all right all right it's like oh my god we're all a little bit weird we're in a <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Now, d- this doesn't mean that you have to do that in this current life. Like, this isn't like you need to go out and make friends. Maybe be open to it and this will help you with that. But this is mostly to where you don't start bottling the emotions way the fuck back in wherever the fuck this is. Right. And, like, keep it going to the point where it, like, is detrimental to your health. Right. So, speed that up, push that forward, and ripple it outwards. Spare, please speed this up and ripple it forward. And- do something outwards. <laughs> Did I do it? Yeah. That okay. was like it. it. It didn't move like a whole lot. So, I mean, that's good. Mm. Okay. I definitely feel like I can breathe there. Uh. <sighs> yeah, I'm burping too. I got the tools in my throat. Yep. That's good. All right. Can you merge with all versions of you? Spare, please merge me with all versions of me. There you go. Um, apply my own house cleanse to them. Apply my own house cleanse to them. Please light up all pathways meant for me. Please light up all pathways meant for me. Put roadblocks and pathways not meant for me. Put roadblocks and pathways not meant for me. Calibrate us. Calibrate us. Disconnect us. Disconnect us. Anchor us back into the correct dimensional A anchors back into the correct dimensional forms. There you go. And then 
Yeah, go ahead and do the close up slash sign offs on Kate's page or the closing statements on mine and keep us posted in the comments. OK, I will. Thank you so much. I feel so much better already. Yeah, thanks for joining. It's huge that you came on the screen. That's not very you. So no, <laughs> glad you did. I was scared. I was I like pushed the button almost like three or four Look times. At you. <laughs> Look at you doing the things. <laughs> no, thank okay. you. Okay. All right. <laughs> Bye, Jesse. Bye, Bye. Thank you so much. We got time for one more and we've got one request. Okay. Melanie. Melanie. <laughs> oh my god, Melanie. Hello, hello. Hi. Melanie. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, what's up? Start talking and we'll interrupt you. All right. So I am a witch practitioner and I know I've been a witch <laughs> in many lives. Um so I feel like I probably have some ties that are residual or that have been tied from other lives that are not to going anywhere people. and blocking. Would you say, Kate, to the swamp people? <laughs> Maybe that are in the bog. She's, she's seeing she's seeing something specific. So <laughs> you know, I've been and I do I, like the other person that was on here. He has his own little dimension he goes to. So I do a lot of work at night in my sleep as well. Mm -hmm. Um, and obviously there's things that happen that I foresee happening before they happen. And I've been told I'm a soul mover that I help souls move on to different places. Oh, yeah. Hey, can you do me a favor mm -hmm. though? Sure. When you were talking about being tied to all the things and Kate said swamp people, can you say spirit, please show me spirit, please show me, uh, the most impactful point I can heal the most impactful point I can heal. Connected to the swamp people. Connected to the swamp people. <laughs> Going right in. And literally um, being leashed to them. And I don't know why. Why are you with the bog people? Oh, funny. I was just reading about bog people. Oh. <laughs> oh you probably portaled into it. Oh. Like, you know, when you watch something or you read something and it triggers a past life, that's what's going on here. Oh, for sure. And I know I've had lots of them. So things are just happening really fast in this life. You're very, you're very humanoid in this. It's still, it's very um, female presenting. Mm -hmm. it, it seems very similar to what you look like in your picture, which doesn't happen very often in past lives. It doesn't usually look the same. Yeah. I get compared to Hakate all the time. I'm trying to figure out, do you know, um, do you know in Star Wars, the, uh, when uh, Leia gets uh, captured by Jabba the Hutt? Yes. Okay, it's kind of got that kind of vibe, but I don't know if you're captured, you're very much like a pet. Oh, fun. <laughs> um, could just, uh, release, release these, like, or you can go back to before before go back to before this happens say spirit please take me to before this happens spirit please take me to before this happens it's very john travolta and that uh orange movie pulp fiction pulp fiction yes we don't like pulp we don't like pulp <laughs> Love it. Okay. It's every time. Where do you see yourself or feel yourself now? Because it is like this. You're just like, <laughs> this is like, what are we doing here? What's going on, guys? No. Yeah, I have. I'm trying to see it. So when I do that for myself, like all these other things, I see myself in oh. all these. Hey, did you did you do a working here? Did you do a spell here that summoned these things here? And then you were just I think like, so. <laughs> Yeah, and I think you're just like, we're tied together now. And they're like, I guess. I mean <laughs> I wouldn't it wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised. Let's just say. Oh, like um, did you ever watch Walking Dead? Me or M Melanie? Yeah. Melanie. Oh. Like the T V series or mm -hmm. I'm aware of it. I have don't believe I've seen any. There's um there's a character, her name is Michelle, and I don't want to give away <laughs> spoiler alert, oh even gosh. though it was like from the early two thousands. Um <laughs> <laughs> Um, she has her brothers were zombies and she carries them around like with a chain or whatever. Um and they're like her guard dogs, but they're her brothers, that's why she didn't kill them. Um and this feels like you did like Kate, so like a spell working or whatever, and it tied you to these 
to these beings, like a mutual, a mutual agreement. It makes sense. I've been told I've made contracts with a lot of things in my past lives. <laughs> oh, break them. All the ones break you them. gain clarity yes. on. Yeah. Can break them. Okay, so um, please release. Okay, we'll just do it the long way. You ready? Yeah. Do you want to do like the, ma- we'll do the major long way. Okay. Uh, spirit, if it's in my highest good. Spirit, if it's in my highest good. Now, when, when we do this, it's not going to release anything that you want to stay. Okay. It is only going to get rid of stuff that you don't want or isn't right for you anymore. Great. Okay. I just want to preface it because it's a lot of words. So I don't want you to think that like, <laughs> like you're still in control. I'm just telling you a thing. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Spirit, if it's in my highest good. Spirit, if it's in my highest good. Please release, and you guys can do this too in the comments. Please release and remove. Please release and remove. And undo. And undo. All contracts, promises. All contracts, promises. Vows, curses, spells. Vows, curses, spells. Magic, mirages. Magic, mirages. Locks, chains, cages. Locks, chains, cages. Rubber bands, bounce backs, tourniquets. Rubber bands, bounce backs, tourniquets. Ropes, nets, tape. Ropes, nets, tape. Gentlemen's agreements. Ooh, gentlemen's agreements. Bartering slips. <laughs> Bartering slips. Or the like. Or the like. That I no longer fucking want. That I no longer fucking want. <laughs> or are no longer in my highest good. Or are no longer in my highest good. Connected to religion. Connected to religion. Government. Government. World government. World government. Galactic government. Galactic government. Negative 12th dimension government. Negative 12th dimension government. Karmic family. Karmic family. Soul family. Soul family. Physical family. Physical family. Chosen family. Chosen family. Or the like. Or the like. In any of my lifetimes. In any of my lifetimes. In any of my forms or versions of me. In any of my forms or versions of me. Okay, it's going to feel slightly slow because it's a lot. So can you say, please speed this up. Please speed this up. I can't see it. I can feel it. The visual is like ropes coming off of you and falling to the ground. Yeah. I feel like kind of dizzy. Uh-huh. Speed it up again. Speed it up again. And activate your divine grounding straps. Right. Here we go. All of these um all of these beings and creatures that you have this connection with, like it's not they're not a lot of them don't want to leave your side like it looks like you had really good relationships with these connections that you've made like this is a very good circuit of stuff like there's stuff you created there's stuff that you summoned um it seems very copacetic on a lot of parts yeah. um very spirit guidey yeah spirit guidey so like would we have her like just ask them to go to correct dimension correct. Mm-hmm. yeah i think so mm-hmm. and like guide it's still guide if they want to yeah okay so you could say spirit if it's in the highest good spirit if it's in the highest good um please anchor these beings please anchor these beings back into their correct back into their correct dimensional form dimensional form slash dimension slash dimensions they all went to your team. Okay, bye. <laughs> Every <laughs> single one of them. You you have, I don't, I've never actually come across that before. You have a really great relationship with a lot of beings, like many different forms from plant, animal, mineral. Yeah. Yep, I've been told that I can connect to all the elements and spirit in many different ways. So I well, haven't really believed that, but now that you're saying that, it makes, it feels like truth. Well, I will say everybody can. Yeah. Now, do does everybody have the personality and the ability to have that relationship? No, mm. that's just like your that's a personal skill set of yours. Um, but I do want to let people in the comments know that like 
anybody can connect to the elements, to energy, to spirit, to all of that. But what you have is um, marketing ability, <laughs> uh, charisma, charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent, as RuPaul would say. <laughs> I appreciate um, that. <laughs> yeah, it's very, it's very, I'm not surprised that you're drawn to witchy stuff. It's very dark, feminine, like ethereal kind yeah. of vibes. I feel that for sure. Um, it seems pretty good here. Are they all in one dwelling? This dwelling is huge. <laughs> they like it. Uh, they don't like want to be all next together. to each other. Oh, they, oh. right. Yeah. yeah. Like there's lots they... of wings to this castle mm -hmm. kind of thing. They want to wow. be together, but they don't want to be next to each other. <laughs> so, t so typically when people, from what we've experienced and seen, there's like a spirit guide dwelling and it's kind of like, um, like a reality show where there's like a central living, living area and they have their own rooms. Right. Um, but it's usually like a, like a house dwelling kind of thing. Typically. I mean, like there's different variations of it. Um, this is like all of your guides want to be in one location and just like come forward as you need them instead of yeah. rotating out like we normally see that's cool huh. which will make you tired if you let it but oh yeah that's okay i don't <laughs> think you don't i don't think you want it any different no i think okay. i that's how i function okay <laughs> all right Didn't that seems that seems great what were you gonna say kate Oh, it doesn't have to be like it doesn't have to make you tired. They can go, they can rotate out, but I just don't think that you want them to. Right. Okay. All right. Uh, cool. Picturing Foster's home so for much. imaginary friends. The couple. <laughs> That's funny. You want to borrow any any time? Let me know. <laughs> All right. I, um, you can do either the closing statements in Cat's page or the close up slash sign offs on my page. But yeah. would, thank you so much. It was yeah. a pleasure. Yeah, it was awesome. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Bye. All right. That was it. Do you have anything yeah. you want to add? And then just don't forget to disconnect everyone in the comments. Uh, it was a lot. Yeah, but there was a lot. Was like that was cool. A lot of fun. That was yeah. fun. We really liked it. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. And then um, this will probably come out as long as the recording is good and everything um, a week from now, because last week's comes out tomorrow. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Love you. Bye. Bye. The Book of Duel Session with Kate and Kat. Visit either of our websites listed in the description of this video. For a spirit guide reading, you can book with Captain Kate at www.captainkate.com. For a one on one trauma healing session with Cat and Boots, you can visit www.catandboots138.com.